area of a triangle. So far in maths, we know a few ways to find the area of a triangle, and we're going to learn another one. So with our generic non-right angle triangle, where we have, let's let this angle equal C, this one be B, and this one be A. So this side will be little a, this one will be little b, and little c. We can learn a new formula to find the area of a triangle, and it's going to be a half times a times b times sine of c. And let's just have a look at what, where a, b, and c are. So a is over here, b is over here, and c is here. So it's important to note that c is in the middle of a and b. So we can find the area of any non-right angle triangle if we know two sides and the included angle, so the angle in the middle. And we're going to use that to answer some questions. Let's have a look at this triangle. Where we've got 119 degrees, this side being 1.8 metres and this side being 3.4 metres. So we know our formula is a half AB sine C, where A and B are two sides and the angle C is the one in the middle, and that's exactly what we have. We've got two sides and an angle in the middle, so we can go ahead and just put everything into the formula. So our area is going to be a half times 3.4 times 1.8 times sine of the angle in the middle of those two sides, which is 119. We can just put all that in our calculator and get 2.7 meters squared to one decimal place. Don't forget we're finding area, so it's going to be units squared. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we've got another non-right angle triangle where we have 93 degrees and we've got 11 centimeters here. We've got X here. And this time we actually know the area of the triangle is 70 centimetres squared. We know our formula is area equals a half times AB times sine C, where C is the angle in the middle of the two sides. And that's what we have. We have these two sides, the angle in the middle. This time we have the area and we're after one of the sides. So let's put in everything we know. This time we know the area is 70 a half times our two sides multiplied together, so 11 times x times sine 93. So on the right hand side, well we can actually, let's multiply everything by 2 first to get rid of that half. So we're going to times both sides by 2. By doing that the half and the 2 cancel out because that just gives us 1. So we get 140 equals 11x sine 93. We can now divide both sides by 11 sine 93 because we're trying to solve for x. Where the 11 is going to cancel out with the 11 and the sine 93 will cancel out with the sine 93 to leave us with x equals 140 over 11 sine 93. We put that in our calculator to get 12.7 centimetres to one decimal place.